empowering, inspiring and informing our viewers. Body image. These two words have recently become a common place in the media, whether they are used positively or negatively. When you put these two words together, what do they really mean? Do they conjure up feelings of security and value? Or do they inflict feelings of shame, hatred and a desire to alter oneself? With us today in studio is Fatima Karbai, a personal trainer, body transformation coach and fitness enthusiast. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much for joining us, Fatima. Assalamu It's a pleasure being here. Great to have you. And Radia Mohammed, a mom of one, interior designer and entrepreneur. Jazakallah so much for your presence. Assalamu alaikum. Wa salam. Fatima, what does, body, um, what does body image mean for, um, for a younger woman? And okay, we'll get to an older woman, but first for a younger woman. I think for a younger woman, it has a lot to do with acceptance into society mm -hmm. and a lot of social standards because body image is not the same for two people. However, you're constantly competing against one another. Yes. So you're not comfortable ever in your own skin. Absolutely. So I think that's a very important topic that needs to be adhered to and looked at. Mm -hmm. But body image on the whole should be what you are most comfortable in and project that confidence through your body. Absolutely. Why I asked about an older woman? Because usually older women, as you as you mature and you know um, get wiser, you, your body image doesn't seem so important, yes. so you get more comfortable in your skin. So what do you... I think for older women, it also has to do again with their confidence mm -hmm. because after having probably children and going through life, you tend to forget about yourself, let yourself go. And I think it's very important that women start taking care of themselves and their body image. Also, not to just feel comfortable in their skin, but to exude that confidence and just be better. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, with the times and in the environment we're living in, I find that um, a lot of the mature older women are, are, are competing actually with yes. younger women. Why is that so? I think it has to do a lot with the fact that you don't want to age, mm -hmm. but also your age is just a number mm -hmm. and you should just feel happy and content that you are not really aging, but you're getting there gracefully yes. and still take the the time to look after yourself and don't compete with younger generations because also take into consideration their hormones and metabolism is not the same. Absolutely. So they need to just be content in where they are and work at their own goals. Great stuff. Radia, um, with, the, with the rate of social media and that's, um, you know, that aspect in life and our society, environment and community today, what are the negative um, influences that affect body image? It's definitely, with social media and stuff, it's definitely like, you know, like all the celebrities, if you're looking at like Kim Kardashian yes. or anyone like that, like everything is um, uh, photoshopped. Yes. So like what people are trying to get to nowadays is definitely, I think, impossible. Unrealistic yes. expectations. It's Absolutely. Just, it's just not, um, I, I think that people should like concentrate on um, like being confident mm -hmm. and like... Um, I think if you have like confidence in yourself and you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to look like, um, a, a like, portrait or, yes, like, or like a celebrity because at the end of the day, that is something that's unrealistic. Absolutely. It's not something that, uh, that you could like, even if you strive to look like, you'd yes. never be able to it's, because it's, 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 it's impossible not, yes, goals. So, yes. Absolutely. Um, Fatima, obviously to become now, um, um, body transformation coach or a personal trainer, you, something led you to Definitely. go down that route. Tell us, tell us about your experience. Um, it was about, I think five years ago mm -hmm. and my grandmother gave me a birthday present, a trip to the dietitian. Oh, I, I was always overweight and mm -hmm. I wasn't always happy in the place that I was. Mm -hmm. So I went for my first appointment and to be honest, I was hesitant because mm -hmm. I had previously experimented with weight loss. 
and it backfired. All right. So I went through with the dietitian appointments and after my first month I did see results and I think that's what sort of kick-started it because mm-hmm. I said if I keep going and I kept my willpower strong, I would eventually achieve my goals. And it was about two years into my own journey that I decided, no, I'm going to pursue a career in the fitness industry and through my own experience help others because I've loved it and I can relate to you if you're feeling down or, you know, just tired of giving up, or tired of trying or, and you just want to give up. It, you need someone that can relate to you. It's not to say that like a thin person will not be able to help you. But at the same time, if you've been through the same thing, you can sort of counsel the, your client through it. Absolutely. And I think through that, I've just kept my motivation up by also using my clients as my own motivation mm-hmm. because you can't have an unfit trainer. It just it doesn't go. So I think that's what kept me going. And the best thing that I learned through my own experience was to keep your willpower strong. Mm -hmm. If you exercise that and you keep your mind strong, you can achieve absolutely anything. And through my own experience over the years, I have lost till date about 57 kilos. Wow. And I've just maintained it. And when I say maintain, it's not starving yourself. Please don't ever starve yourself. It's more of leading a healthy lifestyle because at the end of the day, it is a lifestyle change and it's no quick fix. So through my own experience, I can say that just decide to make it a lifestyle and keep your willpower strong. That's all that, that's what helps. That's (laughs) awesome. And you have one super grandma. Thanks. I know. That was the best birthday present ever. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Radia, obviously you're sitting here in studio today. You must also have a personal experience. Can you tell us about it? Uh, From when I was young, from like 16, I used to always be into exercising. Mm -hmm. Um... But I never used to really eat healthy. Mm-hmm. The time when I um, I had my first child, um, in my in my pregnancy, I kind of uh, ate whatever I want, did what I want. But I said straight after I have my child, I'm going on a strict diet, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna like get back into shape. But the problem was that when I did go on my diet, I did like a very extreme diet, mm-hmm. and um, I lost everything. I actually, lost more than what. I was. You needed to, yes. Yeah, and, um, but the thing was that um, what I realized is the diet that I went on was very unhealthy. Mm-hmm. So to maintain it was um, definitely like a problem. Okay. So the thing is, like, that's what I realized and when I got Fatima, um, like, helping me train because I started making excuses for myself to go to the gym. I'd be like, no, I'm too tired or I don't have the time. Yes. So now Fatima coming to my house every day, like, makes me. Like, I have to do my work, I have <laughs> yes. to get it done. Yes. And, and she, like, also in this, like, um, um, like, year that I have been training with her, um, she's like, she's become like my, ba- one of my close friends and definitely a therapist. <laughs> so every time, um, we do our training, I get like a therapy session one time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so Super. Then, yeah. So then, uh, so it's definitely, um, it, she's definitely helped me a lot to like achieve a goal, mm-hmm. and um, she's uh, like that, like I changed my lifestyle. Just like in, in my eating patterns, is that it's not going like extreme where I don't eat yes, where I don't eat what I want at all. So mm-hmm. I still do have my chocolates because I love chocolates. Yes, so I still have my chocolate like once a week, but I won't have it every day excessively. Yeah. Yes, so, so everything in moderation. I, I agree with the, with that. Slumming slum way. If you want to lose that abdominal fat and get rid of that stomach rolls, then we have the waist trainer for you. It produces high compression in the abdomen and waist increasing sweating. It also helps you correct posture, flatten your abdomen, firms the tummy and love handles and molds your figure. We courier throughout South Africa. Call 079-218-7860 to get your waist trainer now. Fatima, you obviously now you're working with a whole lot of clients and you're working in a specific community. Do you find that community to community the women differ? So like in our community, would you say that they're more um, obsessive yes, or compulsive definitely. compared and to other or is it just women across I the board? 
it is women across the board, but in our local community, it's very competitive. Yes. And I think that's just a natural instinct of women. Like, mm -hmm. if you're doing something, I have to do it better. better. Yes. But what we don't understand is that every two bodies are not the same. Mm -hmm. So what I do and what Rydia do, does will not necessarily work the same for both of us. Yes. So in that way, every community, the women in general, are very competitive and very... Um, how to say, they just want to challenge themselves to like extreme, better themselves yes. and some take it to an extreme which is very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. So like you said, moderation is key. Yes. So a cheat day here and there will definitely keep you sane Absolutely. and you need to encourage that within the communities and I think that's what I'm trying to um, encourage. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Radia, um, how do you how would you look for positive influences we spoke about the negative image uh, the negative influences on body image how would you start to look for positive or what would you advocate that is a positive influence for a body image um, okay, I think that um, you you have to uh, your mindset has to change yes. you have to think positively mm -hmm. uh, if you keep like um, Try to keep negative people, people that put you down, or people that like, like especially bullying and stuff like that. If you get, if you, if you have friends or any people that put you down, like try to distance yourself away yes. from them or try to push them out of your life. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, I feel that that's like the biggest thing. Like, you know, if you have, um, a lot of motivation from your family yes. and from your friends, friends, and if you have, um, that support from people, that's like like a big thing. A plus, absolutely. Yes, definitely to start off. But um, if you feel like you in a, if your mindset is um, not like in a in a bad space, yes, you're in a bad yes, space. Yes. yes. If you if you're in a bad space, like get the therapy, get the help, because the thing is, um, the main thing is to first look after yourself and um, to have self love. Yes. So if you do have that, then. You'll definitely um, achieve what yes, you do. Yes, and, and 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 the thing is, I also realize if you have any stress or if you like, you know, some people when they eat, um, they eat more when they stress. Stressed, absolutely. So if I have emotional stress, I um, I actually don't eat. But if I have work stress, I I eat a lot. But what I realize, um, with my training and with my working out, it definitely helps with it's your stress level definitely definitely and it's a much more healthier this thing so it's just your mindset okay you change your mindset like I you, you you're going you to achieve your goals yeah. definitely yeah. slumming slum way if you want to lose that abdominal fat and get rid of that stomach rolls then we have the waist trainer for you it produces high compression in the abdomen and waist increasing sweating it also helps you correct posture flatten your abdomen firms the tummy and love handles and molds your figure we courier throughout south africa call 079-218-7860 to get your waist trainer now um fatima um, do you need to seek professional help to get yourself? Um, okay, physical, you, you said yes. now you do the workout physically and yes. whatever. Do you need professional help like a counselor or therapist to get your mindset into I, working with your body? I definitely think so. Especially with young girls, we have a lot of sort of demons in your mind. Yes of what you need to be and what you keep telling yourself that I need to be this to be accepted into mm -hmm, society mm -hmm. or I need to do this in order to meet the social standards yes. and that can really damage a person yes. mentally and emotionally. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need to seek counseling in mm -hmm. order to get your mindset right. right. And once that's fine and correct, you can focus on your physical being Absolutely. because your mind is your greatest weapon. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep that in check and you need to make sure your mind is always healthy and your emotional state is healthy in order to achieve your physical, your physical results. Goals. Definitely. definitely. Um, Radia. Um, what are during, you can just add on to this a bit. What are your, what are the major and minor setbacks through your journey? And then Fatima can give us her, her minor, minor and major setbacks. Like I was, I was telling you earlier, um, a major setback for me was when, um, I tried to 
to an unhealthy diet mm -hmm. and I lost what I wanted to but it was definitely not permanent okay. it wasn't a permanent so I think the best thing is that you should have a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and work out mm -hmm. to like achieve your goals okay and Fatima major and minor setbacks I think minor setbacks in our community especially social gatherings because there's always a temptation to yes. try something or there's always someone telling you, oh, just have a teaspoon, it's not going to hurt yes. you. But what you don't understand is a person on a goal, that teaspoon to them is going to lead into an entire dessert. Yes. So I think it is a setback. And like I said earlier, willpower is what's going to keep you through it. And looking at major setbacks, bullying, I find a lot in the community. Mm -hmm. And that does set you back because, like I said, it's, it affects your mental state. Yes. And that affects everything. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the biggest setbacks I would um, look at is your mental state. And the reason behind that would be um, self-doubt, lack of motivation. Yes. And some just get tired of the process and then just give up. So keep the willpower strong to I'd like to combat the, my the negative the and yeah. the setbacks. Radia, final words to the camera, please. What do you want to say to women out there that's on a goal or on a if, mission? If you have a goal, um, don't give up. Even if um, it's something where, especially if um, you're trying to lose weight and if you see on the scale it doesn't show um, the amount that you wanted to lose, don't give up. Continue going until you get to your goal. Thank you so much. Fadima, your final words. What I would like to convey to the woman out there is always remember that your worth is not measured by your circumference of your waistline. In fact, it's measured by the depth of your personality. And remember that and keep your willpower strong and keep your mind strong throughout any challenge and you will definitely see results. There we have it. Thank you so much, ladies. It was absolutely a pleasure to have you in the studio. It was lovely being here. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> well then, that's it for today. I leave you with something this powerful. Make it your goal to fall in love with everything that you are. Catch us next week on Lodium Today for another great episode. Watch our episodes on YouTube and subscribe to our profile. Also, stay in touch on Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram and we'll keep you up to speed with topics coming up next week. Don't miss an episode.